Rust has a uh, really infamous type inside uh, standard mem, and it's called uh, transmute. And it's um, yeah, it's probably Rust's most famous unsafe uh, function. And uh, what this what this uh, function does is it, uh, it tells Rust to take some uh, some bytes that you have and to uh, treat it as something else. So if you have like uh, you know this um, this array of uh, you know two U8s. Uh, you know, this is one byte and this is one byte. Uh, transmute, you can say, you know, take this data and uh, now I want you to treat it like it's a U16 because a U16 is two bytes and then Rust is just going to um, do it for you. Uh, but uh, it's uh, right on the top uh, and this is the, the point of the video is that it says, uh, you know, it's incredibly unsafe. Uh, there, um, you can have, you know, weird undefined behavior. Uh, please don't use it unless you really have to. And then after that, it goes into like uh, 10 examples of uh, where you might be tempted to, uh, to use this and, um, you know, ways of doing it that are uh, not as unsafe or completely safe. And uh, so that, um, and so that, uh, let's see, what was I going to say? So, well, let's just start out with, uh, you know, seeing exactly what it does. Uh, in in practice because we're just uh, you know we're inside the playground um, nobody's relying on our code uh, we can just fool around and, and do some uh, some unsafe things and then see what happens so let's uh, let's imagine that uh, you, know, you need an unsafe block of course uh, we're going to make, uh, make three things here so thing one thing two and thing three, and I'll just copy the, or comment these out uh, for the moment. So let's say uh, transmute, transmute, and the way this works is you have um, you put two things inside here as the type, and then you uh, you add the data in here. So uh, this is uh, what you're starting from. So uh, let's say we start from an array of two U8s, and then we want to say, okay, uh, imagine that it, or treat this as a as a U16, and then uh, we you put the actual uh, numbers in here. So uh, let's see, 29, 205, and so this uh, so Rust is going to uh, believe us and say, okay, um, you're telling me this is safe, I'll do it. Uh, I can't check, uh, but uh, yeah, I'll do it for you. So, um, and then we'll say, that's great. So uh, print it out, uh, that thing that you just made. And uh, let's see what happens when you take this, uh, you know, this array of two numbers and say, treat this as a U16. Uh, Russ says, okay, this is uh, 52,509. Um, so, all right, uh, that's uh, that's interesting. Um, we can uh, we can go the other way around. We can say uh, transmute, and we can say all right. Let's start with a U32, and uh, turn it into a uh, U8. Let's take a U64, and then uh, an array of um, of four U8s, and then here is the uh, U64 number. And uh, now please uh, turn it into an array, and so we'll we'll print this out. And of course, you know, this time as well, Russ is going to believe us. And uh, let's see, that's right. Should be, uh, should be eight. That's what it is, of course. Okay, 64 divided by eight is eight. So there you go. Um, so you can see when we when we gave it this number, um, you know it's a U64, and we said okay, um, pretend it's uh, it's eight U8s and uh, give us the uh, the response, and and there it is. So you know weird, uh, pretty weird stuff. Uh, we haven't uh, crashed the the program yet, but uh, we're going to now. Uh, and the way this works is, um, let's imagine this time we have. Uh, U64, and uh, I think there's three of them will do it. Um, yeah, and uh, and then we'll say, hey, um, please turn this into a string. And um, Rust is going to say that's just fine because um, you're telling me you're telling me this this is fine because uh, it's in an unsafe block. And um, whoops, 
and then print that out and then thing three there you go and then we'll say you know pretend this is a string uh and please uh please print it out hold on i think that's my bracket's weird and that should not be a semicolon so once we do that then we get a you know big problem it dumped the core seg fault segmentation fault uh, so you know there's no um this is uh one example this is the first time we've had uh, a dumped core uh in these videos and so you can see of course you don't want to do uh you know this is one of the uh, the risks of transmute is that uh, you can there's no guarantees uh you know if you say take this uh, this raw data and pretend it's a string uh, of course it's not going to work because a string um it's much more complicated than just a simple type and uh you can't just you know read uh three six three u 64 and then make it into a, a proper string and it's just going to uh you know give up there so um so uh yeah transmute is a uh, pretty weird um you know sometimes if you're coming from uh from c uh you'll want to use it uh but some of these uh these examples are pretty pretty good uh um it's pretty good to read through this uh this section here in, in case you're uh, you're tempted to uh to use it because uh it, it shows you quite a few um you know safe ways to do it like for example this one is um um something similar to what we did taking uh taking some u8s and turning it into a number uh of a different type um and here it says you know you can use this uh these functions here so this is a uh, little endian bytes uh big endian bytes so you know depending on your computer uh, little and uh the, the way the bytes work uh you would uh, you would choose one of those functions and then there's also uh bytes as bytes as bytes and this is uh you know if you have a uh, a stir and you want to see you know what are the bytes behind it then uh you just use this uh as bytes function and it's perfectly safe so uh if you do this uh print this bit, print this out and we just say uh, hello there uh as bytes then it will 100 percent safely um turn this into bytes and show you uh what's behind it and then there's no need to look at uh uh, weird things like uh, like transmute and uh, let's see of course it doesn't implement display let's print it out again and by the way Ryan Levick um, safe transmute that's um, what I'm going to finish the video off with so you can see uh, as bytes will safely you know give you the bytes that are behind a, uh, a stir and there are lots and lots of methods that are uh, that are made to uh, to you know not make you have to do uh, all this weird stuff with uh, transmuting raw uh, raw bytes and stuff like that. And just one more one more interesting thing is that um, there's actually some work uh, work going on to uh, to try to make uh, transmute a little bit safer. Um, or hopefully make it uh, entirely safe. I don't know if this is uh, how long it's going to take, but Ryan Levick over at, uh, there we go, safe transmutation. Over at uh, Microsoft, he's one of the, uh, you see him on, on YouTube a lot, and uh, they, are, they are working on uh, safe transmutation. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, how, how can we take this, uh, this transmute and then give it some, uh, some guarantees and actually make it into a, a safe function and uh they're they're doing quite a bit of uh of work on that um i don't know how long it's going to take but it's just uh something to uh to keep an eye on there's some crates out there that are that kind of uh, uh make it safer um but uh it's not in the uh, in the main language yet and so of course you know transmute is uh that's why it still says uh don't uh, don't use this if you don't have to and uh so anyway, just a, uh, a little bit of uh, a look at uh, Rust's most uh, infamous function, I think, and then uh, we'll get back to regular stuff in the next video.